Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas. I'm going to do a dustpan uh, swipe with, a dustpan pour, and I'm only using four colors, just Artist Law Flow Acrylic White, and I do have a, a light layer of that all over the canvas. And then my other three colors are Blick Rick Fire Red, uh, Blick Rick Mars Black, and Amsterdam Azo Yellow Deep. Okay, so let's. My paints are on the thinner side today. I will show you. Leaves just a little trace and then disappears. My pouring medium today is two parts Floetrol, one part paint squirt of GAC 800, and about a teaspoon of the um, Liquitex Gloss Medium in Varnish. No, and I did not add silicone today. So all I'm going to do is try and uh, fill up my little dustpan here, and then spread that around on the canvas, and then do some tipping. I may want to um, fill my dustpan a couple of times, just depends. having some fun here with paint today. It's a little tricky to do one-handed here. Okay. That looks pretty good. Now what I'll do is I'll bring all my paint down to the edge, pull it back, I'm just going to start here up in the far corner, let that paint run a little bit over the edge, and then just bring my canvas back down, and just spread the paint. Okay, and I think I will put a little more paint in my dustpan. I just want to cover a corner here, so I won't need a lot of extra paint. A little white in there. Some of the black. A little of the red, and then top it with the yellow. Okay. And I will bring my paint down to the edge again, and then pull it back, just to help it mix a little better. And I will start down here. Let it run off the edge. And I'm going to add a little bit more of the yellow to this. And possibly a little red. Just mix it up a little bit again. And then put some paint up in this area. and possibly here too. 
since I have the paint, why not? Okay. And I will torch now. And I'm just going to do some tipping just to see what we get here. I'm going to try and run the paint off the edge here. And then bring it back down. Bring it down to this corner down here. Bring it back. I'm going to take a look and see what I have here now. I think I am going to um, add a little more yellow in here. Just take my my little stick here and add some yellow lines. And also some red. Okay, put a little more red up in this area. And I'm going to do some more tipping. Just to do some more blending. Give it some more character. Going to continue tipping down to this edge here. And tip a little off there. And let's see what I have now. Okay. And I think I'll just use my skewer a little bit here. And just continue some of the lines here if I can.
again just breaking some of this up Just playing around here a little bit. I'm just going to do a little more tipping. See if I can get the paint to move anymore. It is moving just very, very slowly. Just trying to take off a little bit of that yellow there. Okay. Take another look. Clean off the bottoms with my fingers here. And I'll do another torch. Okay, and now I'm gonna to get to down for a close-up, and there are a few areas that I think look really nice, and I will point those out. Again, this is a 12 by 16 inch canvas that I just did the dustpan pour on. This is the upper left-hand corner here. And the area I like is right in here where you'll see that red is so muted and wispy-like. I like that a lot. Really blended well in there. And then you have lines that are very crisp. So that's really nice to have that combination in the same painting, like in here very crisp lines. That's the lower left hand corner. Take you up the middle here. This is where I added the red line. Used my skewer a little bit. Added a few things. Got some green in there. Again, crisp lines in this area. Very nice. And up this way. This is the upper right hand corner very i'm very happy with this painting it's very bright 
I just think it's a good combination of colors here and the lower right. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you do like this video and share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. And subscribe if you haven't, that'd be great. And until next time, take care everybody. Hi everybody, Bye. it's Deb again. I just wanted to let you see the finished product of this painting. Um, off camera, when I was looking at it, I just thought that I could add a lot more to it. So I did take my skewer and I added a lot more. Uh, I, drew, I drew the black out quite a bit here. Some of the red, but mostly the black. Just to drag some of those lines down and across. So it did turn out quite different than what you saw at the end there. So bring you up here. You can see all the lines that I put in there. And other than that, I did leave it the same. But I just wanted to show you the end result. And I hope you didn't think it's too much. But let me know in the comments what you think. Do you like it better that I drew those lines out like that? Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye for now.